internet icon brought to you by the Yom Yom F Network. We've received thousands of video submissions and narrowed it down to our top finalists who have gathered here in Hollywood. Our judges will critique those video submissions till we narrow it down to our top 10. They will then compete in a series of challenges with time constraints and specific rules. After every screening, we'll eliminate one contestant till we discover the next internet icon. Previously on Internet Icon. I'm the only solo act left. Everybody else has eight hands or four hands. I have two hands. I'm ready for today's challenge. I'm yeah. Right. <laughs> First shot, we don't know. I'm the director of this whole thing. Just go. Shut up. Okay. It's perfect. Sorry, they have to erupt. They have an emergency meeting that you guys both have to go to. Leave your actors in props. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Cut. <laughs> Cut. Stop. Right back. First of all, with um type of generators that you might be operating, you need to have 25 foot clearance for any type of building, any type of cables or lunch boxes, you need to be up off the ground. Second most stressful thing I've done in my life? Yes, this competition is the second most stressful thing I've done in my life. So this is super ambitious, but if we can get it planned out in time, it'll only take like three minutes to shoot it and then no editing time. Again, don't worry. Da -da -da. Welcome back, guys. Before the last episode, you, the audience, will vote on our final two contestants to determine who will be the next Internet Icon. Welcome back to another Internet Icon Challenge Elimination. Today, you guys had the Judges Challenge. So each contestant had to draw a concept chosen by our lovely judges. And oddly enough, even though the challenges were drawn completely at random, Seems like the challenges matched our contestants' strengths fairly well. However, that just means that the judges will be extra critical in their evaluation. We're down to five finalists, four teams, and one solo act. The Brothers Rydell, you have the advantage of starting 30 minutes prior to any of the other contestants. And as you guys know, time is precious, especially in a competition like this one. And today, we had a little bit of an interruption, a little bit of a setback which cost all the contestants about an hour. But that's filmmaking. There are setbacks. And it's your job to adapt and be resourceful and inventive when you're under pressure. You guys know our judges? Internet sensation, Ryan Higa. <laughs> TV and film star, Christine Lakin. <laughs> and today we have a couple filmmakers, uh, David Fickus and Bryce Beckham currently have a video on Funny or Die with over one and a half million views. It is time to start viewing some videos. First up, the brothers write up. Our challenge was uh, to make an instructional video, teach you guys something. So this is the human school. Hi. I'm Hugh. I'm a certified human. Hello. I'm Men, emotion specialist. Step one. Practice staring off into the distance with no fixed point of focus. When someone asks, Is there something wrong? Pause and say, No, I'm just tired. Utilize this emotional tool to connect with other humans, get your own way, and have the right response at art galleries. In our next emotional integration video, we will teach you how to emote happiness. Just kidding. Humans don't know how to be happy. <laughs> ah, once again, I think you guys smashed this challenge. I think you guys always come through. Every time I watch a video by you guys, it's like completely different from the previous ones. The, the thing I love about this video specifically is that it could easily be a series. You know, and on YouTube, series are so important because when, you, when someone wants to subscribe to you, they're going to be like, all right, well, what else am I going to get from this guy? If you have a series like this, this would make me want to subscribe and see more videos like this. So I think that was really smart. Yeah, your actors were fantastic, and uh, you guys always seem to be able to relay or convey what you want to do to them in a really good way. They all seem to be, like, very locked in, and I know you have such a limited time with them, so that's uh, really, really important. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. And I actually, tonally, like, right off the bat, you understand exactly where you guys are going comedically. I thought, yeah, the, yeah, the use of the actors was fantastic. It's It was hilarious and fun. Great job. All right, thank you guys.
Next up, Team Morgan. Our judge's challenge was silent video. This is one of your best videos uh, that we've seen. I love the idea of the concept of this guy seeing this girl and having these like fantasies and ideas of what she's like. I think that cherry at the end could have been presented a little clearer. Um, the, the whip falling out of the bag for whatever reason, it just didn't read well to me. We were editing and realized we forgot that shot. I see. And had to rush back. And of course, there were people sitting there. Right, right. So we were like, hey, can we just, like, hey, make yeah. a whip fall out? And right. So, <laughs> right. Quick, 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 and rush back. And then we got there and it was like, yeah. It, yes. yeah. So, you know. Okay, well, that makes sense then, you know, and the, the constraints of what you have to do to, you know, you know, you just, you guys are so outside the box. Very nice job. Thank you. Do you want to start? Sure. We're going to fight about this every time. Um, <laughs> I thought, uh, first off, I thought there were uh, great performances. I loved, the, mm -hmm. I loved the commitment in the performances, I think, was, was great. And so uh, that part, I thought, really stood out. Um, I, I liked the use of different looks uh, for, the, for the different fantasy sequences. I thought, and speeds. Uh, yeah, and different and, speeds. And different, and different, different paces. Yeah, and, yeah it was, uh, that was great. You know, as a viewer, I'm investing my time into this, and I love the story, I love the way it was going, I love your setup, I just wish there was like a, a better twist at the end. Now, other than that, um, again, I'm, I really appreciate you guys stepping up your quality. On the production side, I think you've got to keep that up. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Next up, Lana. My assignment was to do a character piece shot documentary style. Backstage, seeing the world from an artist's perspective. Well, if I'd known you were gonna look like that, I would've won a lower cut top. <laughs> How do you... Mm. What? How do you always look so well put together? Well, I'll tell you. I've got three simple tips. One, make sure to eat a healthy, balanced diet. Like, if I'm gonna have cookies, because sometimes I wanna cheat, then I just make sure to only eat the cream filling because that comes from cows. Take care of your body, bitches! <laughs> make sure to drink plenty of fluids. Take your vitamins. I get lots and lots of rest. Be confident in who you are. Don't ever let anybody tell you that who you pretend to be isn't good enough. It's like my Uncle Rick used to say, come sit in my lap, you pretty little thing. Every video you've done so far has just been so funny. You know, we've always had problems, like little things, whether it was production, I don't know what it is. But you gotta, I mean, I think it's important to point out that you are our last team of one, and it's just so impressive. The thing I liked the most about this video was um, the whole fact that you were playing off the documentary. Does that make sense? Like, you were, you were playing off the documentary in that 
the shots were bad, but it was bad for a reason. And I, that stuff just makes me laugh more than anything because I, you know, make videos and stuff. I will say at the end, I kind of wanted a better cherry at the end. Um, I, I'm glad you used the blooper or the behind the scenes thing because it did kind of cap it at the end in a way. But I, I was looking for something a little more. I was like, oh, come on, don't end it right here. Don't end it. It's so good. Don't end it right here. And then it ended. But uh, I will say the blooper thing at the end did help it. But um, just a funny video. Good job. I do think you are so funny, and I think you had a really great opportunity to show me a little more of who this character was. And I didn't, I don't remember the name of your character. Um, I think you could have helped that in the Star, beginning with some stars. More, star something. Star something. Um, you could have helped that a little bit with maybe some titles in the beginning. It could have been backstage with, you know, I think that would have helped. I think we could have also helped with a, some voiceover. As opposed to going to the voiceover and the setup and hearing the singing, I would have rather discovered all of that through kind of the found footage type of thing. Once it got to that moment where we were seeing nothing and just hearing you snort things and pee, uh, that was hilarious. Because that stuff is great. When you're just like, the camera's right up in your face and you're just talking nonsense and somebody was stupid enough to give that character a camera, fantastic. And I, I loved all of that stuff. If you put that footage all like one day was happening and did little time like 9 a.m. You know, and then right. like, you know, then the, the end of that beat joke is, you know, 11 a.m. Lunch, you know, and the, <laughs> you just do, you do Lunch. that and then it's like 4 a.m. next Thursday and she's right. passed out. And like, yeah. chronologically, like in a Cloverfield kind of way. Thank you, Lana. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, Foo Music. Our video challenge was video with no edit points. One continuous thing. Passing years, remember times of laughter, times of tears. I see all my fears through all my life. There's one thing that I know when all is said. And Time keeps pushing on You're there for me When all my world is dark I may not see but know you've made your mark On my bleeding heart Through all my there's one thing that I know. One of the harder things to pick. I know because I wrote it. <laughs> um, I think it's I think it's really difficult to do this, especially uh, with the constraints of what we've given you guys, the time and all of this stuff, and the fact that on YouTube things move really fast, right? So editing is a big part of, um, I think, the, uh, the way you pace a film. Um, and given that kind of constraint, I, I think can be very difficult. I think you really rose to the occasion with this video. I, th this concept is so great that it could easily be an okay go type of breakout uh, thing, and if you had more than one, one guy doing all of it. You could get something like breakaway walls and stuff like that. So I know you could ride this and, and make this a huge production value, but there's also something about the YouTube do-it-yourself feel that this really captures too, which is your guys' hands are really dirty making this, and your guys', even, even in the production value of the music, it just seems very raw and authentic, and it seems like really from your heart, and, and, and that's, it's just, it's great to see. I I just wish there were some jump cuts, you know? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. Again, this is the same feeling I got after that, uh, what challenge was that? The duck one? Mm -hmm. oh, the yes. prop challenge. This is the same feeling I got off of that. This was definitely such a terrific video, such a great idea. Um, this kind of video, and just like the, the prop challenge video, um, 
would do very well on YouTube. It would do very well anywhere. And I think uh, your iTunes sales would go up. I think with this kind of video, you guys did such a great job. I'm so impressed right now. Except Dean Dayside. Our challenge was to do a horror video. <laughs> and the name is Slashers In. Corey. Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm having a wonderful trip at my... What was that? Thank you for checking in. Your rooms are ready. Does he creep anyone else out? I'm just so paranoid. <laughs> He'll He's... be fine. Your rooms are right this way. Um, well, I think you guys had a couple of things really going for you in this uh, video. I think you had um, some actors that obviously let you play around with them and, uh, you know, were able to give you some great physical performances. Um, you've also used uh, some really good makeup in this. That shot of the girl, yeah, that was really smart of you guys to to use Emily and um, have her put that blood. That shot of, um, I believe Katie's her name, um, in the shower is disgusting and really creepy. And <laughs> I just had trouble understanding where it was starting. And, um, you know, my I think the first thing I wrote down, well, one, I was like, you did, did something called Slasher Inn, and given your resources, I, you did not have an inn. I know you can't run out and, and get an establishing shot, but I, so I was curious to why you went with a Slasher Inn. And to me, I was like, you could have done Slasher Hall, and it could have been, could have been the hallway that, that these that was everyone was dying in, which to me is comedic. But I, I think the the tone here, um, starting with the blog or, or, or the vlog, um, and then the vlog, and then it cut in on the vlog as if there was a a cutaway from the vlog, and I kind of that threw me, and I went, oh, is there is that not a vlog? Was that a camera, or or is there a camera man? And then then I, it took me a minute to realize it was a. I was like, oh, this is a trailer, and I was like, if you're gonna go trailer. I want from the producers of blah 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 and the director of blah like I want a trailer I want the full thing and I was trying to follow a story and figure out who was who and I I couldn't I, I, I had trouble catching up with it and by the time it said coming soon I was like oh okay it's a it's a trailer <sighs> to be honest guys I found it a little a little corny you know I found uh, some of your shots were really legit I think the makeup was amazing um, but then there were some shots mixed in there that I was just like are they trying to take the comedic route or not you know like I feel like if you can't sell it 100% like this is scary this is horror you need to take the comedic route but I honestly kind of feel like this one brought it back down to that first challenge level to be honest All right. thank, you. thank you guys so our judges have to make a decision um, at this time we're gonna have everyone head to the green room while the judges uh, make their decision Let's talk about top. what we liked. Off the yeah. top for me, I got um, Rydell's is two and Full Music is one. I think I would flip that. I would do, I would do, yeah. Rydell's is one. Rydell's is, is one. Rydell's was your favorite? Yeah, I think so. Uh, Lana, right? Lana. Yeah, yeah, I just, there is something incredibly engaging about her it's and her personality. And, her yeah. personality. Yeah. and when I think of like great. a YouTube world, she like a lot of she, followers. if she did one of those once a week, I think she would have a lot of followers. Yeah. I, will, I will say I was very, for me, in terms of the challenge, I do believe Full Music had the hardest challenge. That's just my opinion. And I think right. they yeah. just did it so brilliantly. You know? 
Yeah. I think they well, crushed it. And and that piece is really viral too. I mean, what they came Super up with is, yeah. is something that could really take off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go. I mean, Just in that okay, go world where the treadmill yeah. video, like yeah. you, you get that. You get you, if they nailed that. If they had more time and nailed that, I think thing. that's it. Is they didn't quite nail. They it. They didn't quite nail it. It was probably because of the time constraint. Yeah. Well, totally. Right. I mean, they did. They did. A, you know that whole thing, and they set up four different. Um, spaces, and they had to figure out the choreography of that, and get their actors in, and they didn't. They had such limited time to even take to do those takes. Each take had to be like at least two minutes, three yeah. minutes long. I had Dayside and Team Morgan actually. That's yeah. Um, yeah, I did that's think right. Morgan, Team Morgan, stepped up uh, production wise. I just didn't like. I don't know. I just felt if I was watching this online, I would have clicked away halfway mm -hmm. through because I was like, I don't get it. I don't really. You know, it's not mm -hmm. entertaining enough for me. Um, Dayside, I, I just felt that was, they didn't know what they were doing. Dayside's was so just joined. I mean, if we if we now talk about like the difference in, you know, what we liked between Dayside and Team Morgan, Team Morgan's actually had a through line. It may not have hit as well on mm -hmm. their chair at the end. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what Dayside's was about. Yeah. I mean, I do, but I don't. It's about people getting murdered. Well, hello, it's a, it's a horror movie. So, gee, like, shocking there. Okay. I think right. we have decisions. Action. Welcome back. Thank you to contestants for another amazing week. Um, your videos are just continue to impress us. And as I've said before, you know, the difference between a great video and an excellent video is getting smaller and smaller, making our decisions harder and harder. Uh, I would like to thank our two guest judges, Bryce Beckham and Dave Pickett. If I call your name, please step forward. Team Rydell. You guys completed your challenge and you did a very good job with it. Um, all of us, you know, we were we came to a unanimous decision, and you guys are safe. You can make your way back to the green room. Good job. Thank you. Team Foo Music. I don't know why I was trouble saying that. <clears throat> Again, personally for me, I felt like this is one of your better videos. Um, it reminded me of the uh, prop challenge, I think, which you guys nailed. You know, we all came to an agreement, and you are the winner of our challenge today. Congratulations. Congratulations. Obviously, you know that means you get a 30-minute head start tomorrow. You have first access to props and actors from our iconography room. So congratulations, you can make it your back. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Good job, you guys. Team Dayside, Lana, Team Morgan. Team Dayside, um, it's obvious your technical skill is great. You know, you guys have produced really uh, beautiful videos time and time again. Um, you can do stunts. You can clearly employ blood. Um, you've got great shots and really good ideas. I think your storytelling is still suffering a little bit. I know that's something that you continue to work on. You know, some of the actors today have said, not that you were rude to them, but the, some of the actors said that they felt a little confused by what you were doing. I don't think any of them knew it was a movie trailer. These are just things that as you employ different people and as you work with different actors would definitely help them because then it would help set a tone for what you were trying to accomplish for the day. Team Morgan, um, you know, last challenge you guys definitely raised the bar. That was your best video by far. For me, this challenge was not your strongest. I do think you stepped up your production value um, tremendously, but for me I just wasn't, I was a little confused and I felt like it needed a better ending because I invested all this time into watching this video. I felt like there needed a better twist or a better cherry at the end. Lana, uh, I've always loved your videos. I think you have such a great personality. Um, I've said this before, you're incredibly cute on camera. You're incredibly likable. I mean, even the, these guys who've never seen your videos before, the things that they commented about were, they just wanted to see more of you. They just thought you were so interesting on camera. And I thought that from the very first time I ever watched your stuff. <clears throat> Team Dayside. I'm sorry, you are not our next internet icon. Which means, obviously, Lana and Team Morgan, you are safe. You can make your way back. 
Thank you, guys. Damn, I hate when I cry. Chester, <laughs> we're gonna miss you, dude. You're a great guy. And Christine and Ryan. And you guys. Man, why do I cry? I'm so dramatic. I wish I could use that in film. Stop crying, you guys. Guys. I take full responsibility. I took you guys, you know. Uh, I led you guys here in LA to take part in this awesome competition and I let you guys down. But it's a good uh, learning process. We're still young, we're still learning. It's definitely not the last for us, most definitely. So congratulations, you are the final four. Challenge six is the set challenge. Jester has all of your names in a hat and he will be drawing them from random to decide who gets to pick first. First team to choose first, Team Morgan. We choose the jail interrogation room. Uh, next up to choose, Brothers Rydell. Ah. We're doing the courtroom. Let's do it. Next up to choose, Lana McKissick. I'll take the bar slash restaurant. Next up to choose, <laughs> <laughs> let me see, wait, let me read it. Team Foo Music. I guess we're with, going with the Marg. All right. Your entire film must take place on this set. You cannot go outside of this set to film anything. And you will not be allowed on the set until tomorrow morning. As always, you will have all the actors and all the props and the iconography room to use. And as a reminder, Team Foo Music, as a winner of today's challenge, you will get a 30 minute head start on those actors and those props in the iconography room. I wrote a script that's heavily reliant on a male actor. Um, Chris Rydell said he'd help me out after they're done shooting, and they said they'd be done at 11.30, but it's 10.30. Can I help us more or less? So we got thrown another curveball today. And man, was it curvy. And we had a challenge of creating a commercial for Internet Icon. You can finish this in minutes, you can finish it in an hour. It has to be turned in by 12, and it will be part of judging tonight, along with the movie you're turning into three. Internet Icon. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So they're going to severely degrade the quality of our entry because I think what's going to have to happen is we're not going to be able to process audio the way we really need to. Our experience, we were just judging. We were guest judging. And it went, it, I felt judgmental. Uh, yeah, we were, we were very judgmental and, uh, and we went mental. Judging. Yes, yes, it was fun. Uh, I'm David Fickus and this is Bryce Beckham. And we are, uh, we are filmmakers yeah. of a sort. Yeah, we, we come from Drama 3-4 Productions where we do short films and internet things like that. So uh, it was really fun and exciting to see uh, these contestants uh, just kind of getting down and dirty and making movies and funnies and all kinds of stuff. So that was great. Um, it was really cool. It's kind of like film school in front of a million people. Yeah, we, were, Which, we were glad to be asked to do it and, uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing more from all these guys. Yeah, yeah. What's more interesting? What's more interesting? That cut on his neck or this in my hand? Ew! Tell me what's more interesting. Really, really? Think, what is more interesting? That is so disgusting. That's man. good. Can I lick it? Yeah, go How ahead. How long did that take? It's. Uh, <laughs>